Good morning, everybody, and happy Tuesday, April 28th. I, Miss Rowan, get the pleasure of coming to you with our morning prayer today. But before we get into praying together, we do have a couple of birthdays to celebrate today. So if you could join me and make sure we wish a very happy birthday to two of our 8th grade fellas, Mr. Joseph Semmelroth and Colin Stoltenberg. Happy birthday, boys. Yeah. Hopefully you find some time to celebrate yourselves today, even though it's supposed to be a rainy one. We do get to hang out indoors, so I'm sure you can come up with something fun. Going off of that, um, before I get into prayer, as I mentioned, I do kind of want to talk a little bit about why I am sharing the prayer that I chose today. It has been a tough few weeks, especially speaking upon myself. I know I've fought a handful of emotions ranging from sadness to excitement. Excitement for the fact that um, we have kind of final news and we know where we can go from here, but also sadness and anger for the fact that I don't get to hang out with my students in our classroom anymore or all of those moments that everybody's missing out on that we all should be cherishing meaningful moments, but in the same respect, we're gaining meaningful moments elsewhere too. So we have to keep that in mind. Um, but where I'm going with this, the amount of kindness and just love and generosity as far as reaching out to me as an individual, I have to thank so many people and just, again, that kindness. I've never seen so much kindness being shown towards me when I am all over the place and I received a card the mail this past week that I have literally in my lap that I just needed that morning and it is unbelievable how much you can feel that kindness even if you're not with somebody. So um, I chose a prayer about kindness today and hopefully it kind of resonates with you too because it doesn't go unnoticed and it goes a long way. And that kind of goes with the last prayer that I shared with us too, that a smile can go many miles and it just makes a huge difference. So knowing that, if you could please join me in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear God, if I cannot be brilliant, let me be kind. If I cannot change the world, let me inspire just one other to do so. If I cannot give away riches, then let me be loving. Let me be known for kindness, for it is the greatest glory. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So take those words with you. Think of kindness. Even when you don't feel like being kind, try it. It's not that tough. It actually will make you feel better than you think. So, yeah. Have a wonderful day, everybody. And again, happy birthday to Joe and Colin and all the rest of you birthday humans out there, too. Have a good one.